Hello everyone, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is your coach coming to you from the ATL. I'm super excited for what I'm about to share with you guys. It seems really, really simple. However, this is a question pulled straight from YouTube comments. So I wanted to make sure I address it. For those of you that are chiming in for the first time, welcome, 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 welcome. Those of you that are returning, you know how I feel about you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, we are at 1.7 million. Can I say that again? 1.7 million views on YouTube. This would not be possible without you, 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 your friend, your referral, your sister, your brother, your business partner. This would not be possible without you. So I wanna thank you guys, thank you guys for subscribing and rolling with your coach. So today we're gonna be talking about how to create a menu of services for your home care agency home care agency home care business whatever you want to call it first thing you guys need to do is discover what you want to sell what services are you offering intentionally i mentioned the word sell because a lot of you think you're not selling anything a lot of you think that you just gonna say hey i have a home care business and people are just gonna gravitate to you sales is not a bad word but maybe that's a whole nother video the word sell is not a bad word guys you are selling a service you are a solution to the problem that people have that want to stay at home and that need some support and guidance okay so let's just get that clear it's super important to identify your description so you know your services so now you need a description you know how when you go to a restaurant and they give you a menu they have the list they have the titles of the food they even have subjects as far as this may be fried food this may be baked food this may be seafood this may be poultry this may be beef right so they have it broken down as well so you can do that in the form of pages on your website utilizing what we call the drop down method right so meaning you have services when they click on services it's going to give them drop down options which is called sub pages for those of you when you're sharing it with your website designer and then here it may say personal care here it may say companion here it may say homemaker here it may say respite etc right you guys get the point that's going to be a part of your menu on your website now here you need a description you want to know what's in this entree this meal that i'm about to order right so what is it in this personal care what's personal care what services so here you're gonna say adls blah 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 or you may just break it down grooming bathing dressing blah 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 right so it's very important guys so now with your menu you have your titles your services you have your description, right? Very important. You know on your website, you're going to have your drop down boxes, which would be your sub pages, right? Cause you want them to pick. You don't want all of your services combined together because then it may be a little confusing if you have them combined together. You wanna make sure that you have it where you are talking directly to your ideal client. So if somebody is looking for personal care, they click everything on that page talking about personal care. If they need companion, everything they're talking about companion. If you're offering a specialty service and say dementia, everything is talking about dementia and under dementia, then you can say you help with this, 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 and this, right? Which is going to be what? Personal care services, companion care services. You're going to provide homemaker services. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you, right? So, so far you have your subject matter, which is your title, which is your services. Then you have your description. And then you have to figure out how much are you charging for these services? Many of you have this wide range. I charge between 25 and 35 for personal care. Guys, that's confusing. Why not just give a price and say, when I come out to your home to do the assessment, then we can confirm. Or why not say it's $25 for personal care? Many people say, oh, well, I'm gonna charge extra because this person is obese. Well, guess what? In CNA school, they teach you how to assist an individual that may be obese. They teach you how to change an occupied bed. They teach you how to do these things. Now it's different if it's a two 
two-person assist, right? A two-person transfer where you need someone to assist you. It's different if there's a Hoyer lift. However, when you're talking to that person on the phone, you should be getting that information so you could give them a price. When you go out there, say you tell somebody $25 and you go out to the home and then the person has a Hoyer lift and no one in the home to help you, then that's different. You can say, oh, well, we didn't discuss this over the phone, so we actually need another caregiver, blah, 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 so you can explain it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I just think when you give someone a wide range, it's not really helping them and it's gonna make them wanna call someone else so they can get that number, so they can budget, so they can share with their siblings, their loved ones, whomever that may be helping them pay. So I would say really try to narrow that down. This is one thing, guys, I don't want you, you can if you like, but I don't want you to have the dollar amount on your website because then it kind of prevents someone from calling you. We want a call to action where you say call for a consultation, call to learn more, schedule your in-home visit, schedule your consultation, whatever it is you guys are calling it as far as your call to action. So I don't want the price on there because I don't want someone to miss out on a great, great agency that is providing exceptional care because they seen a dollar amount on here, okay? I do want you to have the dollar amount in your office. So whomever is answering Answering. If you have a team member answering the phone, they need to know how to share this price. They need to know the description to be able to explain your services. So you still want the menu. The only difference is that the menu you have in your office is going to have the dollar amount on it. The menu that you have on your website will not. And now once we get all of this information, now we need to put it together to create the menu. Now, sometimes people want to group. You know how in a restaurant they may have meat here, they may have salad over here, they may have desserts here, salad, meals, as far as entrees, and then here they may have drinks. So here you may have personal care here, you may have companion here, you may have homemaker, respite, specialty, whatever you want in these boxes. And again, I recommend having these as sub pages under services. Y'all got that? All right, we're gonna also have this information where? Can somebody tell me where? Yes, you're right. Marketing material. So now, in addition to your website, you're going out and you may be giving brochures when you're at the client's home. You may be at an event, a networking event, a fair, a convention. You may be exhibiting somewhere. You want to have quality marketing material and you want bullet points. So you have your services. And then under your services, you're gonna have your personal care. You're gonna have your companion. You're gonna have your respite. And then you don't want all the details. Under these, just do a few bullet points. I would say two to three bullet points for each. And then you have a call to action. Call us now to learn more. Call us now so we can help you. Blah, 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 blah. You're gonna have your contact information on there. If you really want to step up your game a little, put a QR code on there because a lot of people don't hold on to marketing material. That's just a side note, a little tip from your coach. Put the QR code on there so they could just scan it and save the information. So guys, that's just how simple it is. How to create a menu of services for your home care agency to help set you up for success and get your phone ringing so people understand what it is you offer and sign up for services. So y'all take care, God bless. If you wanna learn more, visit my website, myhomecarecoach.com. I want to see you at conference. We already halfway sold out for conference 2024. So get your ticket, go to myhomecarecoach.com, click on events from the menu and get your ticket guys. And for those of you that are just starting out and you're trying to figure out what the heck I'm talking about and what is home care, go to my website on the homepage, scroll down and sign up for the prelude. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put the link in the description. The prelude is to walk you through and give you insight into the industry. It's absolutely free before you invest with me, anyone else or decide to do it on your own so you have insight and details on what this thing called home care is. Take care guys, God bless. Mwah!